Hi, I'm Mike, and you're about to view a clip from the Muscle Car Show and Tell podcast. If you like what you see, there is a link in the description to the complete episode, plus links to previous episodes and links to where you can find us when we go live every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. I hope you'll join us. Now, here's the clip. We're going to look at item number one, Derek Rabita's footage from Bentley's Cruise Night in Arundel, Maine. This is part three. Um, and let me get that queued up. And we're going to run this in its entirety here instead of cutting it short like we had to last week. Let's take a look. So this right here is the world's fastest monster boat. So right over here we have a 53 Chevy, and I don't know if this would be considered the Nomad. Uh, I will, I'll say wagon for now, I'll call it a Nomad, but I would love to learn a little bit more on that. So if you guys know, let me know. Got a lot of detail in this, and I love the paint. You can see a subtle green flake in the paint by the flames. I mean, this thing is this thing is cool, and I love this. On a lot of the other Nomads, they're very flat, and this has a lot of contour, especially with the rear quarters. Oh, there's some beautiful pinstripe work done. I mean, look at that, you can see me in the paint. It is so clean so this truck is perfect it's a little model a ford pickup it just all the work that's been done to it it's super clean very proportional a perfect shop you can check out the little stick coming all the way up to almost the the roof line such a sweet ride and right over here is our friend Brendan's 1995 Toyota MR2. He just had this full car, fully detailed, ceramic coated, and it is perfect. It's hard to look at in the sun, it's so shiny. This car is right hand drive, mid engine, right from the factory. This car is straight imported from Japan, and it is a twin cam turbo car. This thing is so cool. Right over here is our friend John C10. This is LS Swap Supercharged. This truck is awesome. And right here is a closer look at John's C10, right there, 661 foot pound of torque, 688 horsepower at 10 and a half pounds of boost. So right over here is a 1986 Ford Ranger. This thing is a huge throwback to the 90s, early 90s, late 80s, essentially on 35s. Oh, I love those wheels. There's a lot to really love about this little truck. The uh, hood props are kind of cool there. Looks like it is still the stock engine. But I love the graphics. I mean, that's such a throwback. Here's your interior here. A little tachometer on the wheel. Got the, uh, I'll say KC lights, essentially. Most of them were tinted taillight covers. I actually thought the taillights were tinted and I just realized they're covers. I mean, this is, this is awesome. <laughs> Extremely clean underneath. It's, a, it's an awesome little truck. Little monster mini truck right here. This is a 1962 Ford pickup. This is powered by a 429. Beautiful in there. This is a beautiful colored truck, but one thing I wanted to point out, if you haven't already noticed, is this truck is a unibody. Ford made these trucks as unibodies for about two to three years. And uh, it's cool to see they didn't last very long because your bed didn't really have any way of flex and you filled it up with anything really when you're hauling. Or, so yeah, it didn't really work out for them. But this truck as it sits is really cool. I mean, there's a lot of time put into it. I love the dual exit right out of the roll pan as well. Yo, check out that dude's wagon. That is so cool. This is cool. It's a 55 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Oh, that's gorgeous. Check out all the custom work that's been done. That's sweet. I noticed the uh, speaker covers on the rear here. This is another old school traditional customs uh, kind of thing. Wow, that patina is beautiful. The louver hood. This thing just keeps getting cooler the more I keep walking around kind of a small fun fact too if you didn't know sorry to give away your secrets that is a button you press that it folds and you can get to your gas cap oh, man wow i love the way this sits and everything must have been some sort of french antenna there at one point just wanted to show you guys these two cadillacs as well this one is a 63 coupe de ville i love this very classy even this one's really cool on the wire wheels it's a 69 de ville check out the interior on this all the designs in the seats so this is cool. This is a 1935 Plymouth. They call their race rod. And this is 
powered by a 454. This is a uh, all all to spec race car, especially I think it's a mainly dirt track. You've got your suicide doors. It's pretty sweet. A lot of times we put in this car. So we have two different custom cars here that are pretty cool to show off. So right here is a Ford Galaxy 500 with a 5.0 and full Thunderbird interior. And then right next to it is a uh, custom 50s Buick with some 59 Cadillac taillights integrated into the rear here. The pinstriping. Oh, I love the color on this, the purple. Beautiful center console. I guess it's just cool, the, the vents in the side of the fender. Even that hood, I mean, the time that, that was put into this car is unreal. Yeah, so thank you so much to Derek Rubita for that uh, awesome footage. Can you turn that light back on, please? Thank you. Um, yeah. Uh, thoughts on that, guys? Any anything jump uh, out at how you? How do they get license plates on Jimmy Johnson's car? Like what mechanics? <laughs> that? Good question. Yeah, know the right people at the DMV. Yes, <laughs> yep. for sure. And yeah. he just has. He, they have such a good car culture there. He's up in Maine, right? Yeah. Um, and I wish we had meets like that here. It's just not. Uh, it's not quite the same. There's such a big, such high dollar builds. You know everything there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I like that, 60, that 63 Cadillac there. That was very, cool. very nice. Yes. Oh. Can anyone confirm whether or not that was a Nomad? I can't <sighs> confirm. I thought the Nomad had the uh, the wrinkles on the top of the hood, on the, on the, on the roof. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. And then the right. Louvre, uh, whatever, um, not louvers, but they had like the little... Uh, the little uh, raises in the in the uh, in the top and on the and on the back there. Yeah, the little and I thought they had glass all the way around. Yeah, that hmm. could be because I know it was kind of in the ballpark, but I I don't know enough about that era to confirm or deny whether whether or not that's a nomad. Yeah, yeah panel van of some kind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When I when I worked for the Ford dealership, uh, one of my bosses had one. And uh, his, like, like I say, his had the glass all the way around, and the uh, and the bumps on the roof. Sure, hmm. bumps on the roof, and then the bumps on the uh, on the on the tailgate there. And he had a '57, I think it was. Yeah, nice. And Rob, any anything jump out at you in that video? Or oh, that's quite a selection of vehicles that was that that type of show. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Very I like I like the last two with the purple. That was quite a paint job. Yeah. yeah, nice sure. interior too. Yeah, and the good news is too, we've got at least two more installments, <laughs> two more installments from that car show. And I have to encourage people too, if they if you like what you saw just now, uh, Derek Rabita has it's called the mini uh, the Japanese mini truck YouTube channel. There are links to it in the description. He does an excellent job. Uh, by all means, go by there, check that out. There's a whole lot more waiting for you. He goes to a lot of different car shows. Um, and I guess the last thing I wanted to say about this car show. Uh, one of those vehicles had a stick shift, and the the, the boot uh, that got, kind of goes at the base of the stick shift was a Crown Royal bag. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was impressed with that. I like seeing that in the old hot rods. A lot of uh, a lot of the Japanese guys do that in their cars. A lot of Hondas have that. It's uh, it's always a cool te feature. For sure, for sure. Conversation starter for sure. Exactly. Cool. Hello, everyone. This is Rob and Mike. How you doing today, Rob? I'm doing good, Mike. Yourself? Very well. Thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate it. Now, uh, today, we're going to be talking about AMSOIL. And uh, in a few moments, we're going to show you how you can get the deepest discounts, free shipping, and free gifts when you order your AMSOIL products through us. But first, I'm going to ask Rob to give you a quick description of what AMSOIL is and why you should consider using AMSOIL products in your motorized vehicles. Thanks, Mike. AMSOIL is 100% synthetic oil. Everybody uses AMSOIL for a different reason. Some people like the benefits that AMSOIL is warranted for 25,000 miles or one year. The reason we can do that is because AMSOIL doesn't oxidize. It doesn't form the usual carbons, gum, sludges like petroleum oils do. That's why we can keep it in the engines longer. Petroleum oils never do wear out. They oxidize themselves. That's why they have to be changed at 3,000 kilometers. And AMSOIL likes the benefit that you only have to change the oil once a year. That saves some money. Some of the people like the benefit of AMSOIL is it's a slipperier type lube. By having a slipperier type lube, it cuts down friction drag. By less friction and drag, engines run 20 to 50 degrees cooler, better gas mileage. 
Now, AMSOIL says 25% more protection than the industry requires is in the AMSOIL bottles. My average customer gets about 10% increase in gas mileage. That's a big savings. Yeah. And by cutting down friction and drag, for every 10 degrees you cut down the friction and drag, doubles the life of the engine. So by having the engine run cooler, it makes it last longer. Some people like the benefit of the range of the AMSOIL. AMSOIL's flash point is 425 degrees, and it pours at 50 below zero. Wow. If you ever tried petroleum oil when it's 10 below, it turns to the honey. And yep. in the summertime, petroleum oil thins out, and once it, once it thins out, that's when it starts breaking down. So AMSOIL's an all-season oil, can give you better gas mileage, longer engine life, less maintenance. It ends up being cheaper over a year's time running AMSOIL than it is petroleum oils. That's amazing, that's amazing. And AMSOIL is, is available for pretty much any motorized vehicle, uh, any from, anything from lawn equipment, cars, trucks, boats, ATVs, motorcycles, snowmobiles. Yep, yep. And a lot of people phone me up and say, well, what's the benefit of our gear loop? Exactly what I told you about the engine oil. It pours in cold weather, it runs cooler, makes the equipment last longer. And they say, well, it's the benefit of the small engine. Same thing, makes the engine run cooler, last longer, better performance. So it saves on all the applications that AMSOIL has available. Wonderful, wonderful. So yeah, let's uh, let's talk now. Uh, hopefully, this has convinced people uh, to think about maybe joining us in the Amsoil experience. Let's talk about some of the discounts and free shipping and how that all happens. I'm going to pop a, a graphic on the screen, and uh, yeah, by all means, if you want to talk talk people through how this preferred customer program works, Amsoil has a number of different programs. One of our main ones is a catalog customer, where somebody can order directly out of our catalog. If they order out of the catalog, they order hundred dollars worth. Amsoil ship it right to their house. But our best program is our preferred customer. For only $10 for six months, you become a first customer, you save 25% on all the product. You order $100 worth, they're going to give you free shipping. Um, you don't have to order a whole case. You can mix and match. Say you want four bottles of small engine, seven bottles of 5W30, and a couple of gear loops. You can mix and match. You can order one bottle at a time if you want. There's no minimums, no maximums. By being a preferred customer, you save over 25% on all the products you're going to buy. Amsoil sends you extra gifts, uh, a $5 gift certificate on your birthday, $5 when you renew, renew your account and stuff like that. So it's a good way to save on some of the products you want to buy. For sure. For sure. Yeah, it's an incredible value. And this is the, the deepest level of discount that anyone can get when ordering Amsoil. Is that correct? It is. It is. Wonderful. Wonderful. So let's take people through the step-by-step the -step experience of, of placing an Amsoil order. Then that would include signing up for the preferred customer discount, or sorry, preferred customer program so they can receive those deepest levels of discount. So let's go to the website. This is what the website's going to look at look like. These are some screenshots. If you Once you go to Amsoil.com, there's a link in the description, or you can just type that into a browser, Amsoil.com. This is the page you land on. At the upper corner of the page there, you see how I've circled in red. That is the link to click the join now link that will take you to the preferred customer program page where you can take advantage of all of these discounts and free shipping and everything that we've just been talking about. This is what that page looks like. In the lower right, you're going to click join now. This will pop up. You select the duration you'd like, whether it's six months or 12 months and click add to cart. Now, once this, this uh, pop-up goes away, you'll be back on the main page. And the upper left, you'll see where I've got that red arrow. It says shop. Now you can start shopping for products, and on your very first order, you're going to get these discounts and the free shipping as long as it's over $100. You'll get all of these benefits right away. So once you click shop, it's going to take you to uh, some product, the product page. There's different types of oils, lubricants, so on and so forth. For the benefit of this exercise we're doing now, I'm just going to click motor oil. It shows different types of motor oil. Let's click gasoline. Now this takes us to an item. It's uh, their synthetic motor oil. And you can see the item there, and there's choices for different viscosities. But take a look at the price. Let's take a closer look. Let's zoom in. Uh, but if you've joined the preferred customer program first, you're going to automatically get the deepest levels of discount. That's what we're looking at here. You're saving $3.80 on that quart of oil. Instead of paying $16.29, you're now paying, paying $12.49 for that quart of oil. That is the deepest level of discount you can possibly get. And then uh, you just add the, the, the quantity that you'd like. You select any other items that you're thinking about, add them to the cart. And once you uh, click add to cart for the final time, you're going to see this come up at the top of the screen. It's going to show your items and your, your um, the total that you're at so far. <coughs> Pardon me. And then uh, you just click view cart in the upper right, and that'll take you to your cart. 
Uh, take a close look here at the upper right. That blue box shows that you're getting free shipping. You're eligible for free shipping on this order because it's over $100. That little yellow box shows that you've got the preferred customer membership on your order that gives you the deepest levels of discounts for the next six to 12 months. And then below that, you've got the, the items that have been selected. I just, for the exercise here, I selected nine quarts of this signature series, but that brings us up over $100 for the free shipping. We're saving $34.20. And if you're ready to, to finish, you click checkout now, and that takes you uh, to this screen here. If you haven't signed up with an Amsoil account at this point, just click in the lower right to create an account, create a new account. It's going to ask you for some basic information, a uh, name and those types of things. Now, let's take a closer look. You'll see this gray shaded box. This is a very important box. This is going to ask you if someone has referred you to Amsoil. And if so, please enter my name. My name is Mike Lapierre. It's spelled right there on the screen for the correct spelling. And also the referral number, 304-555-94. That's how um, you make sure that Rob and I get credit for this. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, I have signed up for Amsoil under Rob. So when you order using this referral number, Rob and I both benefit. So if you enjoy these podcasts that we're doing, this is a wonderful way to support the podcast because when you order uh, using this referral number, Rob and I both benefit. And the commissions I make go directly toward offsetting the cost of doing this pod these podcasts. So I thank you in advance for that, for using my referral number. I very much appreciate it. Uh, and once you've done that, you just go into the next screen to enter your payment information and you're done. Now, once you've entered, once you've placed your order that's over $100, uh, and that, that order includes your Amsoil Preferred Customer Program, you are now eligible to get a free DVD from myself. Now, this is going to be either a muscle car DVD or a vintage snowmobile DVD. Uh, use the email address on the screen, wkspodcasts at gmail.com. Send me an email. Let me know which email. I'm sorry. Let me know which DVD you would like me to send you, the muscle car or the uh, uh, vintage snowmobile DVD, and I'll get that right out to you. As you're typing in that that email in the subject line, be sure and type in capital letters, free DVD requests. So it stands out as I'm checking my email and we'll get that right out to you. So I guess the last thing, Rob, that we wanted to talk about is uh, if someone is considering Amsoil as a business opportunity. Um, yeah. Yes, if anybody has a retail or a commercial account and they would like to buy directly from Amsoil, just send Mike a line. He'll show you how to set up and you can buy directly from Amsoil. But if you are interested in starting your own part-time business, a part-time business that can grow into a full-time income, Mike and I will show you the Amsoil marketing plan. Amsoil has a large selection of products that cover almost every application. So it doesn't matter if you're into snowmobile, boating, or ATV and or, or hot rods, we have an oil for every application. It's a fun type business. That's I really enjoy doing. Where else can I go and have fun and make money doing it? And Mike and I are here to help you all the way along if you need any help on how to promote or or to find new accounts, we're here to help you. For sure, for sure. So when you sign up under that uh, that number, this 304-555-94, you're getting Rob and I as a team. Now, Rob has been doing Amsoil for 40 years. Can you believe that? 40 years. So he knows every aspect of this business, and he knows all of the ins and outs of the products. So he'll be able to help you with any kind of product questions or any kind of questions to show you the different business models that you can do with Amsoil. And then the other thing that you get when you sign up under me is I've got a strong background in social media. So if you need some coaching on how to generate Amsoil leads using Facebook and YouTube, I'm happy to coach you with that when you sign up under Rob and I. Uh, you get both of us as a team uh, to help you, to coach you, to support you, whatever you need to get you, get you off and running with this business and having fun with it. it like Rob said, it's enorm an enormous amount of fun. If you're like Rob and I and you enjoy going to any kind of you know boat shows, car shows, motorcycle shows, snowmobile shows, anything with a motor, you like going to those shows, those events, those races, this is a great way to turn that into a, 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 a income opportunity for you. Yes, yes. And just by wearing my AMSO hat at one of these events, people come up and ask me about AMSO. People, people don't know where to buy it, and I'm there to help them, show them where they can buy the product. Perfect, perfect. Well, cool, cool. Well, this is great. Uh, any final thoughts, Rob, before we wrap it up? AMSO is a fun business. AMSO has been around since 1968. You know, it was the first synthetic oil to be AI approved. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. And that's very early in the game, too, isn't it? Yes. For sure. Well, good. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for viewing. Hopefully, we've gotten you excited, as excited as we are about the Amsoil products. We'd love it if you could enjoy, if you could join us either uh, as someone who uses the Amsoil products or to join the Amsoil team uh, as a business opportunity. And we thank you so much for viewing. Have okay. a great day. You have a good day.